So there, Chris, are you are you here? I am. That's that's great. I think that's working. So you can hear me. I can hear you. The needle goes up and down when you speak. That's good, then. That means it is. Which is which is perfect. So how yeah. are you? I know I've I've talked to you just briefly before, Anne, but how are you surviving right. at this time? I'm all right, thank you. I'm sorry I didn't ring in quite so quickly, but I needed a cup of tea. Well, I can understand that, Chris. And oh. now I'm looking at my washing up and thinking, <laughs> I really need to put that away. Well, you do, but I mean, um, I don't know. Why is radio based on timing, do you think? Can we, get, can um, we do away with times? Well, yeah, but I can see a lot of problems with that. Oh. Huh. Well... Um, so my... I don't think we want to do away with time. No, OK. No, I'm just shuffling in me other bits around when I'm expecting you. And, uh, of course, the producer is, is, a, is absolutely reliable. He, he... Well, I, I will ring the producer. Later. Yeah, you you tell him I'm expecting him. Well, I'll him. bring the producer after I finish the call. Right, I'm I'm planning planning the show. Tell him, and I expect to call about eleven. Okay. The producer under, Actually, understands these things. By the miracle of science. Yeah. Hold on a sec. Oh no, um, it that wouldn't work. I were going to ring him. And do a voice call, but no, it you, wouldn't work. No, you need three phones, Chris. No, don't, don't. Well, do, that's all right. Look, we'll edit it all together later on, and we'll yeah. get more complicated because um, people are doing very complicated multi-microphone presences. I'm sure radio can cope with it as well, and yeah. we'll, we'll get the hang of it at some point. Well, we've got fairly good at it for now. Yeah, we're 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 okay. With, we're okay with with this. I th I think I think this is this is uh, working. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm just I'm just uh, Chris. I noticed one of the. I'm gonna. Say, yeah, this is this should. Work. I'm just gonna line up. Uh, oh boy, Buddy Holly. Yeah. Because uh, I'll play it afterwards later on. Okay. But I'm interested that you are that you're a Buddy Holly fan. Because um, well, you know about Buddy Holly. Well, say say a bit about what you what you what you think about this track then. Um, I know did I heard the track years ago, and I liked it. Right. And I have a Buddy Holly CD somewhere, oh, probably. Right. Okay. Well, Chris, what, what, what I want to suggest to you, you know, you know, my plays are coming along. Yes, your plays. Well, we had we had a discussion last week indirectly about the budget and whether people get paid and what scale we're going to do it on. Because you you asked the question, you have agreed to be in my play, but you yeah. you did ask the question whether you'd get paid, and obviously you, the, there's no budget at the moment. Um, no. But then later on, the the producer said, um, "Oh, people shouldn't worry about getting paid." Um, well, this was in the context of uh, the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly show, where the Strangled Jim and you're should be paid. Worried about Jim play. Well, my, yes, my worried about gym play. Well, that's a good example of my approach to a play in that so far they've all, all been quite short little episodes. And J.D. said we shouldn't get paid, I don't know. Well, yeah, but I'm going to argue with him about it. I, I think we can, we can do the... I mean, the play is basically walking about Central Exeter talking about things. So you can do, yeah. that, you can do that on the cheap or you could try and have a big budget production or you could move it to London and do it on a massive budget 
That's my, my yeah. idea. So we're just talking. We're just walking around where the record shops used to be, and then talking about the universities or learning the campus and asking the question whether the space is needed for any of that, given what happened with sound. And I thought we'd we'd start off um, Tottenham Court Road, where where Virgin Megastore used to be, and then gradually go towards Tower Records at Piccadilly Circus. Yeah. But we could stop off at um, Paul McCartney's office, McCartney Productions. Which he's, is a, ju he's just released an album, I think. That, oh, he's, oh, he's got one planned. He's got one planned. Uh, I think it's come out. Well, there may be bits of it, but I think the whole thing doesn't come out till December. Okay, I don't know. I'll, 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 well. I'll, I'll, I'll look this up later on, Chris. I look this like okay. But um, what I thought was we might get some sponsorship or at least a bit of support because he's he, he has there is an office and one of the things they do they've got the publishing on Buddy Holly and every every so often um, he he does he does a cover version or he includes a few tracks in performance or whatever. He's, he's I didn't know that. Yeah, he doesn't do it that often. But since he since he bought all the publishing, well, I think he's a fan. He's a Buddy Holly fan anyway, and I, it's not it's not um, totally calculated or anything. It's, he, he wants to promote Buddy Holly, but owning the publishing is a good reason to do that, I would think. So if you if you were to brush up on Buddy Holly, um, we could work some of that into the script. I'm yeah, I'm, I can. Yes, I. Yeah, carry I've on, got Chris. A bit on Buddy Holly. Say that again. I know he's dead. Yeah, he is dead. That is that is unfortunately true. But we could find out um, some more about him. I will do that. So that's my task. Is yeah. It? Yeah. Find out a bit more, and I will work that into the script. I should say okay. that I'm I'm a, I'm a playwright of great integrity. And um, I'm not just going to work sponsorship deals into into the words, but we will okay. we, we we will consider these things because you clearly are a Buddy Holly fan, so it's not much of a stretch to well, say, you know, goodness. I've only got one CD. Well, yeah, that's all right, Chris. <laughs> it's a basis. We can work with this. Okay. And um, who knows? Somewhere between Tottenham Court Road and Piccadilly Circus. We may find other publishers who would True. help us in some ways or another. Okay. And we'll at Can't least. Can't we stick to Exeter? Oh yeah, but the well yeah. Um, what I'm trying to do is is deal with this terrible problem that all my play ideas are very low budget and aren't going anywhere, and try and get some resources into the situation. So I think we'll. we'll so, if your plays a low budget, yes, is going up to London, which is quite a high budget. Well, it is, yes, it is. But but uh, this is well. I, I shall talk to the producer and see if it makes any sense to him. Perhaps he would okay. uh, he would approach McCartney Productions or whoever else might be interested. But we'll start there, and we'll say. Um, we want we want to do a documentary in the form of a play, the history of record shops in an area between Tottenham Court Road and Piccadilly Circus, and okay. um, we're prepared to work in a few mentions because I think there's some other acts that they have the publishing of. Um, I'm not anyway. They might like the idea anyway. We don't have to plug their publishing, do we? Okay. We'll just see if they would cover some of the costs. I've got an Elvis Presley for my request playlist next week. Okay, well we'll see. I don't know what's that. Um, Radio Corporation of America, isn't it? That's that's Sony, I think. We'd have to talk to Probably. them. Probably. We'd have to talk to them I and just see. <laughs> see if we can get a bit of support. Yeah. Because um, okay. it could still be well, could still be quite low budget, but Chris, I think we I think we're getting towards a method now. Yeah. Because um, I shall just keep adding to your 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 playlist. 
It just shows up, at the moment it just shows up as Chris Requests. And there are five tracks on it. OK. But if you let me know more for next Only week... Only five? Which one did you cut? Oh, they should... Oh, well, I've not... Well, look, OK, I've got Semantics Locked Down, Def Leppard Pour Some Sugar On Me, Buddy Holly Oh Boy, Oasis Roll With It, and Green Day Basket Case. So what have I missed out? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you have. Think I chose... I will, I'll have a look. You work it out, Chris, but I'll play, I'll play those five today. Yeah. And then um, we'll see... We'll see what happens next week. OK, but well, we, I will ring JD and I will listen to the rest of the show. OK, yeah, if you... If and, you put, yeah. and put my washing up away. Right, well, if you, if you remember what it is before you find JD, you tell, tell him and he can tell me. Yeah. I might look at it uh, later on. Um, yeah, or it will go on to next week's playlist. Okay. 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 That'll work. Have a great rest of the show. Thank you, Chris.